So let me show you why Fernando Gonzalez is upset. He feels that he's being picked on. He feels that we're basically coming down on him. No, what we're doing is we're basically telling you to stay in your freaking lane. I don't go testing and reviewing your screen paints unless you basically start tampering with my stuff and then I will go after your stuff. You have multiple videos in your account of you reviewing our products. Now, you're upset because we found a video of you on YouTube making your product. This is you right here making your product. And this is what you're upset about because we took this product and we placed it against a screen paint that we purchased from you. In that screen paint, both of them match perfectly. With the primer, it matched perfectly. So whose downfall is that? That is your downfall, my friend. Now, whatever nonsense you're trying to pull, let me tell you something. I came from the Badlands, man. I came from really bad areas. I got ties all through Philadelphia. You knock yourself out. I'm ex-military trained. Trust me. You knock yourself out. All right? I'm telling you from the door. You don't want to play games with me on this level. You don't. And, I'm keeping, and keep in mind, when I'm trying to explain something to you, I will get the proper authorities are already involved in this. We're already going to be contacting YouTube. I'm getting you. Your channel needs to be removed. I don't know how anybody would want to do business with somebody who's going to do the kind of sneaky tactics that you do. This is you and your video doing making this paint on YouTube for free. And because somebody matched it and figured it out, you got upset over it. So let's go through your YouTube channel. Let's look at all the stuff that you have done to my company down through stuff equal what we've basically done to defend our company. Now, if you're going to go around spreading rumors that I'm a scammer and I'm stealing from people, that I don't do. If you're going to go around spreading rumors that my product is so black that people can't see it, I'm going to prove that it's not. I have that right to defend my company, but because it bothers you, because it puts you in the wrong and showed the kind of person that you are, this is how you carry on. And this is a person, like I said, I would not trust giving my credit card information to or even knowing my address due to the fact that if he does dirty stuff like that to me because he's upset, who's to say he's not going to do it to you? Who's to say he has your sensitive credit card information and addresses, what he's going to do with it? So you don't do stuff like that. I have your address. I know exactly where you live at. I know your first and last name. I have friends that live in California. I have friends that live in the Badlands of California, in Los Angeles. I got ties up there, too. So let me explain something to you. At any given time, I could have went out and got that information and posted it. I don't do stuff like that. I wasn't raised to do stuff like that. You handle business as you handle business and personal stuff you leave to the side. That's how you do it. But the way you, what, the, what you just showed a few minutes ago is a person that is not professional at all. Now, like I said, I can make a few phone calls and I can get something taken care of, but that's not the kind of person I am. I'm going to contact the proper authorities that make, make sure we get this matter handled and get the situation because this is just one more stack on top of that lawsuit that you're going to hit. We're going to go for criminal charges on this one alone. So let me explain to you why he's upset. This is his video. In this video, Crow shows you how to make a screen paint. And in this video, which he deleted off his channel, basically it matches perfectly to one of the screen paint that he sells. And this is why he's upset. Now he wanted to delete the video. We wanted to basically made the product. You know why the product was made, Crow? Because when we came out with the 12, we weren't even talking about you. We weren't thinking about you. Nothing. When people came into my channel talking to nonsense, I don't even bother with it. Leave us alone. Let us make our product and leave us be. But you couldn't leave that 12 alone. You had to come and do all these demonstrations and reviews and make our product look darker than what it was and do all this slander against our product. And you've been doing this for years. So I'm going to show you what your Crow's YouTube channel looks like and how much of the nonsense that we've had to put up with with his bull. So let me go over here and show you. So you all can see this. Now keep in mind, I have my God kids that come to this house, my little ones. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I would die for those little ones. Hands down, I would. Now, I might not leave the house because of lung issues, but the day, that would be the day that I lock in stock and I leave outside this door and I take a trip because nobody touches those little babies. And if I have a problem, you got a problem, my friend.
And like I said, I'm very well trained. I myself don't care about. But them little ones that come up to see me, trust me when I tell you that. You'll see where Uncle Sam put that money at. Just put it that way. All right, let me see. Now, this is the dirty tactics. I'm saying he does. Dirty tactics. This is a person wouldn't even buy from. And you're thinking, this is helping you. This is not helping you, my man. This is going to get you locked up. So let's go through the videos that he does against our company. All right? Here we go. Early Christmas gift. Make my screen paint. Blow it up so you can see it right there. Now, mind you, he made this video because he got mad product that he showed us literally how to make what you just saw, what he just deleted. Let's see what we got to go through here. All right. So we back up and get all this together in here. There we go. Over here, Cinemax. This is supposed to be our product that you're testing right here that comes up so dark that you can barely see the screen. And this is supposed to be my work that you've been constantly slandering, telling people don't buy it, telling people that we're a scammer. I have never, only told one, only one time I came out and said you were a scammer when I found out that you had a product that matched your own paint that you were selling. But other than that, I never called you stuff that he basically comes at my channel with. Oh, the Supreme 8, boy, he hated that paint to death. He really hated the paint. The 8 sold so well that he couldn't stand it. Now, anytime we have a product that starts selling really, really well, he'll come in and do a review on it and slander it. And he goes back to doing his unboxings again. So let's keep going. Here we go. Another demonstration, fully lit environment. This is supposed to be our product too also. That is my living room in my house right there. Where you're basically debunking my product, which I don't mind that, but you keep doing it. You don't learn. Any product we bring out, you constantly got to come against it. Here's another demonstration. Let's see, coming up. All right, here's our product right here. Let me see. Finally, on touch box. Let me see what we got coming here. Crow's Paint versus 12, right here. Another demonstration right here. Let me see it real quick. What's up? Now, I find this interesting right here. When you always test our black screens, you always do it against a light gray screen. And right there, our product does not come up that dirty. I painted that right on the wall upstairs. Let's pull up another video demonstration by Crow. Here we go. Another review on our paint right there. This is when the 12 is getting publicity. Couldn't stand it. Came and did another demonstration. Let's see how this one came out. This is where you have a problem. 12. That's not our technology. They're not gray. They're black. Look how dark the screen comes out. Another tainted demonstration against our product. Demonstrations you did against the uh, are nine.
trying to display our screens as being too dark. I see somebody went here and cleaned this count up a little bit. I'm curious if I see what I see in here. They're right there. That right there, buddy, is a copyrighted label right there. And I warned you about that one. There we go. Eight. Constantly, constantly, constantly going in on eight. Because the 8 technology was an extremely good. The only reason why we couldn't design 8s anymore because we ran out of the product. We couldn't make it anymore. So what was the problem there? Because it shows right here, I'm looking at outside. My screen is producing an amazing contrast level. You don't, and keep in mind, that's not an 8. 8s have a kind of, um, what's the word for it? They have a kind of weird color to them. That's not an eight. We know from our product from the door. Because if that was the case, any demonstrations that we would have done on our product outside would have came up the exact same way in your video if that was the case. If that was the case, any of my de any demonstration you would have done would have came up the same way in your video. So how come in my videos, when I paint my screens on, it looks different? There you are viewing our 12 right there. There you are viewing our 12 right here. So that's what Crow doesn't understand. If we're doing live demonstrations, how come if my paint is supposed to be so bad, how come it doesn't look the same way in the live demonstration? There he is right there, messing with our product again. Now it's funny. Here's the interesting thing about it. He can do reviews on our stuff. But if we do reviews on his stuff, he cancels our orders. He calls us scammers. He tells us he does not sell and do business to us, but he wants to do reviews against our product. He wants to take his, our product and put it in his own environment and taint and mess it up. But we want to bring it over here and do proper demonstrations. He doesn't want that at all. So he goes in and he starts doing these demonstrations where he's basically mixing our stuff with black paint, trying to make it look dirty, trying to make it look black, trying to make it look ugly. That's why we come in and we do demonstrations to defend our company. I have right to defend me. So let me explain something to you, my man. I'm going to continue doing my demonstrations. I'm going to continue doing what I need to do. But I'm going to explain something to you. I'm going to have this matter taken care of two ways. I'm going to have it taken care of the proper way. And if anything pops up at my front door and my little ones get involved in that, man, you got some heat coming to you, man. You are not going to freaking believe. Like I said, I got ties in Los Angeles. So you better chill with that nonsense. Look at this. But if we review his product, he cancels our orders from the door. So nobody can't review his product. Anybody reviews Crow's product, he goes into a fit. You can't review his stuff. So when we try to offer money, buy, buy the product and bring it over here to do the reviews for us on our end, to show our end doing the reviews. And when you know how to do reviews, I do them honest and by the book. All the screens are in the same amount of light. All screens are hooked up to high power projectors. Everybody gets hit with the same amount of light. Everything's done fair. So what is the problem with you basically letting us do reviews against your product? You automatically got to go into a threat mode. So also, too, to the fellow who sent that email over, it has been, it has been forwarded over. Your IP address is going to be checked. Constant, constant, constant. Can't leave nothing alone. If we blue would have launched right now, he would have the blue right now doing demonstrations off it, uh, messing with it. But yet, if we want to do a review against his stuff, all our orders get canceled. So what's the, what's the, what's the thing? I, I, that's, I know what it is. You can review everybody else's stuff. No one can review your stuff outside of your environment. That's what it is. It's an order a demonstration side by side to show people this is how our product works you consider that to be being harassed and you want to play oh mr innocent 
But trust me when I tell you this, my friend, and I'm going to tell you this with the most deepest, give you an understanding on this. If anything happens to my little ones, when they come up here, anything, you're going to see where that tax dollar money been going to. You don't know a lot of things you don't know about me. You don't know how I was trained. You don't know. Trust me. See right there? Eight, 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 eight. All on eights. All on eights. Constantly messing with our product. Can't leave anything alone. Crow, uh, UB Mix versus Supreme 8 right here. Constantly, constantly, constantly. Crow, Supreme Black. Constantly, 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 constantly messing with our stuff. Can't leave anything alone. Supreme, there you go again. Messing with Supreme again. UB Mix. So you can review our stuff. No problem. Look at this right here. This is the part that got me right here. This is supposed to be our product right here, right after we launched the product. We just launched it. No sooner than we launched it, he came in and tried to make our product look so dark that you couldn't see it. Just the minute we launched it, he came in with a video like this. I'm like, oh, don't buy that product. This is what it looks like. What's the date on that? January 7, 2020. We had to come in and do a demonstration to show that our product doesn't look that way. I told you time and time before when I'm doing demonstrations that you need to stay in your lane and mind your own business. Do not worry about what my product is doing. Here we go right here, another one. Now you just watch me upstairs do that demonstration against that UB mix. You saw me do that demonstration on high performance projection screens against against our technology using white levels, snow levels, the whole nine yards. Our product doesn't come out that dark. There you go. Here's another demonstration you did against my product. Well, you claim that that was my screen paint right there. I debunked that one, the daylight's out of it. Didn't like that one, did you? This was supposed to be our pie. This is how dark my screen is supposed to come up. Here we go. You watch me paint my screen on the wall upstairs. Supreme 12. This is what my screen's supposed to look like. So you've been tampering with my product for the longest time. You've been mixing my product with black paint to make it come up looking dirty. To say this is how it looks next to a beige wall. So every time you do something stupid like this, I got to take time out of my day to go upstairs and do a demonstration to show to my customers and people who buy from us that our screen paints don't look like that because you can't leave nothing alone. And this is what the slander and now with the we're going to consider this now with people who two people have popped up on my account with death threats is now considered to be terroristic threats now. So now it's going to be here. Yeah, you're going to have some criminal charges behind this now. This is supposed to be my product, which right here, mind you, is right there in a fully lit environment on my 235. But that's supposed to be my technology that dark. This is supposed to be my product. See how that looks? That's supposed to be my stuff right there. Delivery. Just throwing, call me Coco Bird. Because I'm African American, because I'm black. You want to pull the race card on this? I don't think you want to do that one. Because my people caught on to that one, the racial slurs, call me Coco Bird. Because I'm black. Yeah, racial slurs. I mean, you can call me all kinds of nasty names. Racial slurs, all kinds of stuff. Calls me Coco Bird because I'm black. Because I got some people saying that you don't like the fact that a black person is doing this. You don't want that now. That kind of you don't want that kind of publicity, my man. You don't want that kind of publicity. The last thing you want to do is be labeled as that. You don't want that. 
But I don't know why in the world you would call me Coco Bird. That, that's a racial slur right there, buddy. This is supposed to be my product. That's how dirty it's supposed to be. And mind you, y'all watch me paint that screen on upstairs, do skin tones, the whole nine yards. There is no way in the world my product looks like that. But this is the kind of nonsense we deal with when it comes to And he's not the only one. There's other people who have videos out there about Crow doing all kinds of dirty stuff and cheeks to make his product look good. He's been doing it for years. He's been doing it since the 7. Since we've had the 7, anytime we bring something out, he's got to do his personal review on it, saying his product comes up looking that dark. Here we go again. And you're mad at me because you got caught on a video making a product that matched your product perfectly. Look, this is supposed to be our stuff right there. See, that's, what I'm that's kind of dirty stuff he does. Let's keep going. There's a whole lot on here he's, he's been doing. A whole lot of dirty videos he's been doing against us. Can't leave anything alone. Can't mind your own business. That's why Blue has so many locks on it. Can't be touched. Turn around and try to take my product. I have never taken your product to Home Depot to try to get it made. You're mad because you did a video. It was you in the video, Crow. Or Fernando Gonzalez, how you go by your name. That was you in the video. So how can you be upset by thinking I made your product when you just showed me how I just watched it and just made it. And you got mad at me because of that. Instead of going in and apologizing to your customers for them for buying a product that they paid for that they could have literally just made for free. There you go. Now, mind you, if you look at the demonstration here, this is supposed to be the food demonstration. You do know the background of the food demonstration for that black. Because you even show flaws in your screen when you're trying to damage us. Show you something. demonstrations if you can't handle the demonstrations that other people do against you then don't do their products and then cry and whine biggest snowflake on the planet cry and whine because somebody does a demonstration against your product and you don't like it then don't do demonstrations to other people's stuff leave other people's stuff alone that's what you need to do if you don't like it I don't mind people doing reviews of my product as long as they're going to be fair with it. If you're not going to be fair with it, then don't do it.
Let me explain something to you, my man. From what I've seen in my time, and where I had to be at, and with situation places I had to be at, you ain't bringing no fear down here to me. My people, all I forward all that information over to my people. They've already seen it already. And also to some buddies I have over in L.A. They ain't, we ain't fearing that. That's enough. But let me show you something. They ain't going to stop me from doing my demonstrations. I'm going to tell you that right from the door. Well, I got big companies right now that want to look me with lawsuits to make me stop do, producing my product. That's not going to stop me. No. I'm going to keep doing them. See that background on that food? It's supposed to be black. It's not supposed to be gray. See how my screen comes up? See how bright and beautiful it is? And we're in a fully lit environment right now. Only thing you're going to do is you're just going to activate me. That's all. That's all you're going to do. You're going to activate me. You're going to give me a destination. You, you know what those terms mean. You play enough Call of Duty. That's what you're going to do. Let's go on. Let's keep going. So that screen in that background is supposed to be black. Now, this is supposed to be our stuff right here. That's what you're saying. This is what I mean by constantly got to do these demonstrations. Now, you see how that background? And everyday black paint can do that, can pull that black background. And even with everyday black paint, that still shows that it's still better than your product because it's pulling a contrast level and your screen's not pulling that. This is supposed to be... This, this, you know what I'm talking about. This is supposed to be black. This is already black. So you, are, you already flawed your screen already. This is what he's trying to tell them. When it comes to the white levels, our screens produce a dark image. I own that projector too. I actually own that projector in the house. This is how dark my image is supposed to come up. It's funny how it doesn't look like the video. So you've been tampering with our stuff for the longest time. And every time I got to come in, take time out of my busy schedule to come in and show my customers or new customers that we, not my old customers, my customers, old customers, I'm like they're getting from me and show my new customers what they're getting. Because they say, hey, look, this guy called Crow is saying your stuff is too black, it's too dark, it's this, it's that and the other. Just something wrong with you, man. It really is. You got out it. You got out it for yourself being not the real deal, and you got mad about it. You don't want us doing demonstrations against your product, but you want to do demonstrations against everybody else's stuff, but you don't want them doing demonstrations against yours. The minute somebody tries to do a demonstration against your product, you automatically from the door cancel their orders. What kind of nonsense is that? That clearly shows somebody to hide. But you messed up big time when you posted that. I don't care if people know why I live that. At the end of the day, I know, I know where I lie at, okay? At the end of the day, I got no problem with that. You know, you want to come over here and pop over and make a visit? Go ahead. I'll show you what Uncle Sam, how Uncle Sam has trained me. It ain't going to be pretty. But I'm going to explain something to you. That if I have a problem with my little ones, anything, as I said before, I'm activated. I'm going to leave you that much right there. With no remorse at all. So you can understand. I try to be a Christian man. I really do. But when those little ones get involved, I'm a different person. I'm going to leave it at that. Now, what I'm going to try to do, and what I'm going to try to, the Lord's going to tell me to do, is Mr. Bird, contact your lawyer tomorrow. We dubbed the video already, so we got a copy of the video already. It's dubbed. Any emails that come over, they've been forwarded over to the sheriff's department down here. I've already contacted my landlord. She, if they work for the sheriff's department, they're handling it. It's being handled. I'll let you know. It's being handled. But anybody else, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't do business with them. I wouldn't do business with them. I wouldn't buy from them or nothing. Because with all the dirt that you have done to us, and like I said, Fernando Gonzalez, I know where you live at. And like I said, I got family over in Los Angeles, up in them areas. Yes, I do. 
And I, anytime I could have contacted you, but I don't. I don't do business like that. My customer's personal information is sacred to me. When you see me do YouTube videos, I'll turn packages around. I'll turn cameras around so I can't show you that's my customer's information. I actually got mad at a customer one time because he started giving out his information online. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Contact me and email me there so we can talk in private. But don't give me information like that. Don't put information out there for you. So I'm trying to help him along. But what you just did and what you just displayed is very, very bad business um, 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 practice. It's a very bad business practice. You don't do stuff like that. Like that. If you did stuff like that, you're going to lose a lot of customers over that. Because, quite frankly, I would not trust you with my personal information. You don't do stuff like that at all, period. So let me show you some other stuff right here. Here's another demonstration he did against our product. Again, another slander demonstration saying our technology comes out too dark. And he don't like the challenges. When we get, you're going to come into my product and say my product's trash and I'm a scammer and I'm stealing from people and it's just everyday black paint on and on and on with these dumb accusations and you think I'm not going to stand up and defend my company? Are you kidding me? Now you watch me paint that screen on my wall. Tell me if my image came up in the dark. Look at this. There's my screen right there playing. Showing up the white levels. But on his demonstration, my screen is that dark. This is what I'm talking about, slandering people's work. And you do this to everybody. You've done this to a few people who actually used to sell screen paint on YouTube that don't sell anymore. Because Crow went in and started slandering their work. So how is it possible that the sky is that dark there but if we come over here and look at my screen over here, it's that bright. Yeah, because you've been slandering my work. Because you're jealous of my work, you're jealous of what I do. And because of that, and because we want to test your product and review your product on our level, you get mad and you get frustrated and you think the tactics like that. But that does not make you look good. It makes you look really bad. You're going to lose a lot of business over that. Let's come over here to show you another one. Oh, oh, the snow demonstration. We just did the snow demonstration outside. Hold on for a minute. We just did that one outside today. Outside today. LG snow demonstration. It's interesting that my product is supposed to be so dark. So I guess for some reason I must be using some kind of cell phone tricks or whatever I'm supposed to be using. I don't know. But you want to sell it to people. And now, oh, since, you, since you now put that out there, Mr. Crow, let me explain something to you. I'm going to expose and show off now the text messages that you've been sending to my phone. I've been trying to be nice about it and try to keep that under secret, but I'm going to show you some of the text messages he's been sending to my phone, emails he's been sending to my phone, of threats of trying to take my business down. to have a product that's so dark that nobody can see it. You're just, you're just nonsense you're feeding into people's head about my product. Something I worked hard for to build. I'm watching cartoons in the next room. I think I am. So let me get this straight. So this is how dark my image comes up, right? And this is my image right here. On my screen, 
That's supposed to be that dark. This is the kind of slandered nonsense you've been throwing at my company. But my image is supposed to be so dark, it's supposed to look like that. That's black paint, Crow. Or we're we gonna call you Fernandez. 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 We we'll call you Gonzalez. Gonzalez. This is. This is. Um. This is supposed to be my product right here. And I'm looking at the demonstration over there. My screen's nice and bright. So you've been slandering us there. Let me see what else you got on here. That you've been trying to do, trying to slander my company. This is supposed to be my product. That dark. There's my screen right doing a snow demonstration this is what i'm talking about by you do dirty tactics to try to destroy people's work going to advertise that this is uh this is how you scam people this is how you you're not somebody's company. Somebody worked hard for his company. This is what you do. And they got a nerd to call me Coco Bird. Where, uh, Mike, you never ordered from us. We don't have an order from you. If you have an order from you, I can go in and I can check your information right on my account, but you never ordered from us. All my orders are done. We already shipped everything out. We're done. See, when you get people that come in and try to make topics about where their orders are at, they don't realize that we do orders every Friday. We do our order ship us and we record them. So, nope, you didn't order from us. All right, let's come through here. Keep on going. Let's show the rest of the stuff he's been doing to our channel or trying to destroy my products. All right, keep scrolling down. And we're going to make that paint today. We're going to make it using your video that you displayed. So, see, it's funny because, see, this is the, the sad thing about the Crow Boys. They want to come into my channel and go, oh, where's my order? You're an idiot. And I'll tell you why you're an idiot. Because I record my ship out dates. Yep. I record all my ship out dates. Which means that if we tell you all orders are out, all orders are out. And you watch me ship my orders out one by one by one. You watch me wrap my orders. You watch me put them in the bags. You saw that. That's the reason why we do it. It's not to brag and show off. It's basically when we have to deal with individuals that try to slander our company by saying, oh, he's not shipping out orders. He doesn't take care of his customers. Oh, not really. Because every Friday I show off my ship outs. And I, you see me talking to the driver. You see packages going out the door. So, yes. Can't say that, Mike. I'm sorry. That's just you carrying on. Now, because of the way you carried on, you feel like you're the victim, I'm going to make some contact calls. We are going to be placing orders for all of your screen paints. And you don't know who's going to be coming from, but it's going to be here. We are going to make sure of it. We get our hands on it now. And you're going outside against the sun killer. I think he's terrified of blue. I think he is. I think that's why he sinks those tactics, because he's terrified of blue. There we go. Another one. Reviewing my product right here. Now, see, look, he wants to review my product right here, but we can't review his. If I put in a request to review his product, the first thing he's going to say is, oh, we don't deal with, um, with scammers. That's funny. Funny you would make that comment. There we go. There's black right there. Right there. How to make... The black right there trying to make our screen paint in another video right here and this was at December 2019 right there we tried to make our screen paint again overprice eight there you go you can go back for days it's just nothing but videos if I'm just basically just messing with ourselves. But if we do any demonstrations against him, oh, Lord, no. 
he just goes into a frenzy. He doesn't want anybody touching his stuff and doing any demonstrations. Here's another one right here. Another demonstration. Back to back. They're going to keep clicking up. Here you go. He will review how our product is made. Oh, but if we do a demonstration against him, he gets onto a frenzy. He gets upset. Can't make his product. Can't have it over here. We made his product from basically he showed us how to do it out of a out of a video that he showed us how to make it. But if we make his product over here, we do a demonstration, he goes into a frenzy. Can't do that. I'm gonna show you one of the emails I got from somebody who just sent me an email a few minutes ago telling me to leave Troll alone, stop messing with him. Let's keep going from here. Let's see what else he got. He's messing around with. Always messing with something. I don't mind if you talk trash. When you start trying to call us scammers and you start making a product, here we go. That's one right here. Making our product to be too dark again. Darn well, our stuff does not even look like that. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see how many more videos we pull up on Crow basically tampering with our stuff and basically putting black paint on our stuff. Because keep in mind, like I said, if that's the case and any live demonstrations I'm doing, then that means I have amazing magical powers and I can manipulate reality, space and time. And I can produce images like this, which means this is all a trickery right here. This is all fake, not even real. So how do my screens come out looking like this? But in his videos, it's supposed to be so dark, you can't even see it. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, he's mixing our product with black paint. And doing these little fake campaigns on trying to basically make our product look like something that it's not. And this is all he does. And then when we out him, when we prove him wrong, then he'll start doing tutorial videos on games and movies and stuff like that. He'll stay far away from any challenges we put up. If you notice, any of the challenges that we asked him to do, not one of them are done in the, as we're going through his videos. Not one. But you want to claim your stuff to be as good as yours. You need to keep your product in its lane. If you mind your own business and keep your product in your lane... Then you won't have to worry about some of the nonsense that's going to be coming to you. Not nonsense. You got some serious stuff coming to you. And if you try to pull down that video and you took it down to Home Depot to make it, we have copies of that. Don't worry about it. Delete it all you want. I have a copy of it. I made two copies of it. The attorney has one. I have the other one. There we go. Another demonstration right here. I'm basically tampering with a product again. Now the demonstration of him messing with our stuff. Trying to say that our product comes out so dark that you can't see it. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, you better not to fight, man. Jail's a bad place to be at. You better know how to hold your own. It's a bad place to be at, my friend. And for what you just did, yeah. Here we go. Look at this. The wake-up call. This is how dark my image is supposed to be. This is a nature scenery you're watching right now, right? That's how dark my screen's coming up. There's a nature screen going on right now on my 138-inch 235.1 in a fully lit environment. Am my screen supposed to be that dark as you display? There you go. Look at the skin tones on the female. All right. See, that's what I'm talking about. So when I come in here and I see nonsense like this, of people doing dirty stuff like this to me, yeah, it, I have to basically retaliate by putting out videos showing them where these people are basically lying against my product. That's how dark my image is coming up. There you go, people.
Matter of fact, we could do the angle from here. He's been doing these dirty tactics for the longest time. Let me see. That happened on August uh, 2019. He pulled that video right there. Yeah, my videos that dark. Look how beautiful that looks. And you don't like that. I told you when we did that paint on demonstration, I told you I was gonna fire him up when I did the paint on demonstration because they're out of them and out of them being a liar. Now, as we scroll through here, you will notice the video that I was showing you how he shows you how to make the product for free. He pulled that video. If you had nothing to hide, why would you pull the video? You're mad because this is what he's mad of. He's mad because he thinks we made his product without his permission. That's the inside of your house right there. That's a video that you have floating around showing people how to make that product. That matched one of your screens perfectly. So I don't know why you're mad at me over that one. You need to be mad at yourself for doing it. For number one, for having it. And for number two, you need to go apologize to your customers and say, hey, look, you know, at that particular time, you know, I made a mistake, so and so and so. I promise to bring out a better product. I promise to be so and so and so. That's what you should have did. But you didn't do that. You came at us saying, oh, now we're going to make his product for Christmas. Knock yourself out. I mean, you got to do like 30 tests underneath that craziness. And you all got to come out on top. Let me see. Again, another one. So this is a Frankenstein versus Supreme AR screen paint. See how interesting it is that he can do reviews on what we have, on what we do. But if we try to do any reviews on him, can't be done. Because he'll start canceling orders left and right. the dates on them canceled order canceled order canceled order he canceled all three orders every last one of them when we try to do a review on his product he canceled our orders we paid him paid him right there paid him the money and everything and he canceled our orders one by one by one but he wants to do reviews on our products and then when we try to do reviews on his products and like i said i went in and found that free paint and did the side by side because like i said I didn't do anything wrong. I made your product. And you showed me how to do it. And that's what I did. I made what you showed me how to do. And it just happened to match one of your products. Not only did it match one of your products, a fellow who made a screen paint called Pro USA, I think she Pro USA, beat your screen. He literally beat, he beat your screen. So now you're mad at that too. And because of that, we are basically wrong for reviewing your product. No one slanted your product. No one said it was trash. It's another. I said it was wrong for the simple fact that your product should not be matching. The free one should not be matching the paint that you're selling. And you got mad at us over that because we found out about it. Boy, you got to be something else. I could imagine having, you know, if you was my neighbor, <laughs> that would have been, that's the truth. It took a long time ago. That wouldn't even go in that far. All right. Here we go. Here's another one. Another video. You see me pulling these videos up like this? This is all through his account. Look at that. There you go. Do another demonstration against my product. This is supposed to be our product again, right there. Now, where you messed up here is that you do know that the background of YouTube is black, right? It's not this color. It's black. But he's trying to say that he pulls the brighter image. And if you're going to be talking about the white levels on point, look, there you go. You kind of did, you did damage to yourself here. This is your product. We came out on top on this one, because look at this. And if it's not my product, it still came out on top. Whatever fake nonsense you made, it came out looking better. Look at it. It's showing a contrast level. This is not a contrast level right here. But if you want to talk about white levels and how white your screens are, that guy from HD Pro Screens pulled an insane white level. I still can't get over how high his white level was, instead of the fact that he was still maintaining a contrast level on a screen paint that light. Look at that, all on eights. Boom, 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 all on eights. But eights was popular. 
So he couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it. So he had to do a, a, a review and try to t slander it. 12s came out. They were popular. 12s came out right around the time when COVID hit because we used to have the 8. You couldn't make the 8 anymore, and that's where the 12 came at because the 8s couldn't be make it. We couldn't make the 8s anymore. So we brought out a 12. And the minute the 12s came out and started getting some popularity and people started buying it, guess who came creeping along? Crow came creeping along, upset and angry that the product was doing well. So let me do a review. Let me darken the product. Make me, let, 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 let me make it look dirty on camera and disgusting so that way I can tell people stay away from this. Don't buy this. Buy our screen paint. It's better. For a screen paint that's supposed to pull an image that dark, it's coming out mighty beautiful on my 138-inch 235 screen that's taking on a ton of ambient light. Makes you to be a liar, Crow, or Fernandez. Gonzalez makes you to be a liar. That's what it does. You cannot be honest. Look at this, right here. Another one. At the bottom. Constantly obsessed with our black technology. In a couple of his videos he posted, not going to do any more reviews against this product. We're just going to leave it be. Come back in and maybe come up with something popular. Comes back in and does a demonstration against it. I've already stated when I do my demonstrations against my own, there's no possible black screen will ever pull a white level as high as a white screen or gray screen. I'll tell you that right from the door. It says that the black technology is going to be a tad low when it comes to white levels, but nothing's going to disrupt your picture quality. All right. I go do tests against screens that are way lighter than my black technology, and I'll show you the white levels first. I'll show you snowstorms. I'll show you skin tones. I show you everything. I don't just stick to just bright colors just to deliver try to trash someone's product. Now, if I wanted to trash a product, I could throw a star field demonstration on all day long, and your screen would never catch up to any of them because they all can pull contrast, knowing your screens couldn't do it. But I'd be fair. I put all different forms. I do white levels and blues and greens and reds, and people can see the difference. And you don't like that. That bothers you. And I find it even more interesting that you are threatened by us to the point to do something that dumb. That pretty much is going to get your YouTube channel snatched. I've already, we've already contacted the legal department. The lawyer will go in on Monday morning and basically father from the red tape that I can't get through. He can get through much better. Look at this. This was our Supreme Amulet Rejection screen paint we developed. Sure enough, here come Crow right in right behind, messing with it. Look at this. That's supposed to be my screen paint. Is that crazy? Look at the crazy stuff he does. That is supposed to be my product. You just saw me do that demonstration upstairs. There we go. Let's find some more of these demonstrations that Crow has slandered my technology in doing. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Yep, all these videos. He just constantly going at black screens over and over and over and over and over again. He can't stand it. It's driving him crazy. It's probably driving them crazy right now that we got a blue screen. That's probably driving them crazy right now. He can't figure out how that's done. That's why he requested. He said he doesn't do business with scammers, but in the email he requested that he wanted to trade for the blue. Now, those of you who watched me do the paint on demonstration of the wall upstairs, I will post it at the bottom so you can check that out for yourself. Post it, paint that screen twice. And if my screens were that dark, they would be showing up here in the video. They would be in the video. Dark. That's what I said. Now he doesn't like that, he's being outed. 
And when somebody basically defends her company, it comes across them, across him, and basically puts him in the same, makes him feel the same way, then he goes, oh, I'm being bullied. Oh, he's bothering me. He's messing with me. I don't, I don't do anything wrong at all. Here we go. Another demonstration. I do this video constantly all the time. And I've done it against his own product. His, um, what is it called? The, um, the personal mix. So if you can review our product, how come we can't review yours? Why do you keep on orders? I can place an order today and it'll be canceled. I guarantee you. And if I place an order, then he's being harassed. Then people are messing with him. That's what he that's what that's what he thinks down to. Black is too dark, so and so and so. Then that's their opinion. I mean, that's their opinion. If they like it, then that's their opinion. But constantly, no, no fair demonstrations whatsoever. Here we go. That's our product right there. He's tampering with. He did a review on comb. He's did a review on which we can't do review against his products. No, we can't do that. Here's another one where he calls me a scammer right up front. There you go, right there. Call crows it again. Scammer will scam. Call me a scammer. Yeah. Got a bunch of those up there of him calling me a scammer. He's the one who started that nonsense. That's crow. Started it. Call me a scammer. There you go. There's a video right there. That's my, don't delete that. My attorney has a copy of it. So I'm supposed to be a scammer. There we go. And it's funny how no one does any of our demonstrations, but yet we are these scammers uh, because we charge for our product and because the, he got a problem with the, how, what I charge for my product. So he had a problem with that too. Which are not for function screens. So that's what I said. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. You know, I don't call him. Only time I call somebody a scammer, unless I see you scam. And you know what I mean? I can catch you in it. And like I said, doing that demonstration of painting his, he showed me, like I said, a tutorial. All I did was follow the tutorial and it matched. Again, reviewing another one, R7. And like I said, if I want to review his product, can't do it. We can't do it. He'll cancel every last one. Here's another demonstration where he slandered my screen again. Made a black paint, put a black paint in there to make our product look darker than it would have had to be. This is what my product is supposed to look like on skin tones. You just watched that demonstration of me showing my screen right here. It's supposed to be that dark. And look at it right there. Hmm, there you go. But yet, it's supposed to be that dark. There you go. There's another one right there. I'm trying to say my product was so dark. Don't buy a screen paint. It's too dark. So and so and so. Blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. I told you that when we made that powder, he we showed we showed us how to make our lime. I explained to him the video. I, we're not going to come out here with a five-gallon uh, container of paint saying, "Oh, this is his mix," so and so and so. Unless I show you a receipt 
showing that I purchased that item. Unless I show you a box with a shipping uh, price on it that I paid for and it was shipped here. Other than that, the only paint we have here of Crow is on the sample sheets. Now, keep in mind, the, um, the uh, UB Mix, which I found out was Everyday Dark Gray Primer, which I did a demonstration on that. And I said right there in the video, we don't have any more UB Mix left. And I'm not going to come in here and make a batch of and say, hey, this is his product when it's not his product. It is what it is. I didn't even tell people what kind of, uh, of uh, primer was used. It's the name of the primer. It's not an everyday primer. It's the name of it. But I didn't say that. I said because that would be unfair. And he does stuff like this. See, all this, all him. Anytime we get anything that has any kind of gets popular or anything where people are buying, he's got to come in and mess with it. Can't leave it alone. Constantly, just constantly. Here we go. Tim Titles? Mm -hmm. That's our product right there. Not our product, but that's him just putting black paint in there. Because for some reason, like I said, all right, we do live demonstrations all the time. If we're doing live demonstrations and our product doesn't look that way, then somebody's doing something they shouldn't be doing. Another unboxing of our product. Another one right there. Talking about what could happen to our channel, about blah, blah, this and blah, that. Your channel might get snatched, buddy. You did it, Keep in mind, there are rules and regulations with YouTube, and you crossed one of them. Yes, you did. Let me see. There he is messing with our Eclipse black screen right there and our Luminous messing around with that. You look for yourself through this channel. Nothing but our stuff on it. He's just messing around with it. I come on here. I do demonstrations. I'm showing you how to, the only time I come at Crow is this Crow is doing a demonstration to slander my product. Then I'm coming in to protect my company. That's what I'm doing. Here we go. So in this demonstration, he takes his white his gray screen paint and paints it over and shows exactly how the bright levels come up. So and vice versa, what we did was we painted his screen downstairs and showed a Starfield demonstration and ran a black paint or black, black technology over top of it to show the contrast levels. But that's not our stuff. Our stuff doesn't come up that dark. Like I said, if my screen was so dark, there is no way in the world you would be able to see it from here, from where we're standing at, and all this light. You wouldn't be able to see that screen. It wouldn't come up. It's a shame when you got people that are going to stoop to this level to do stuff like this. But this is what he does. And then people wonder why we're going to file a lawsuit. You wonder why. This is why we're filing a lawsuit. It's going to go through. Just mind your own business, stay in your lane, you can't do that. He pulled that demonstration too. He pulled that one too. Or he's making our I think he's making our product at Home Depot. I wonder if he pulled that one.
I thank y'all for taking the time coming here and watch. You know what I mean? We used to have a, uh, we have a silver screen paint. We did a silver screen paint. He wanted that one too. He didn't like that one. That we came, got on his nerves because it was selling too well. There you go. Two years ago, he couldn't stand when the screens were developing. He couldn't stand that one. That screen was pulling light in a fully lit environment. He hated that one. That got on his nerves. He had to go slander that screen too. That's the part I understand right here. Where he says these are the difference in his screen paints. And I don't, I don't see it. They look exactly the same. They're only off by a slight shade, and that's it. You can take a nine and put it against a black. You can tell the difference because nines have a kind of goldish look to them. The platinum slates look like they're black, but they're dark blue. The black silvers look gray. They're gray screens. And the blues are blues. If you look at that, they look exactly the same. They're only off by one slight shade. Remember I told you the theory about the painted wagon? About someone who basically paints a wagon and sells it to you and then jumps over your gate and they steal it and they repaint it again and they sell it to somebody else. That's where that theory comes from. But yeah, this is some of the nonsense we've been dealing with. So, like I said, you know, we make a product. The minute he comes out, he's got to slander it. He's got to do his review. He's got to put his own spin on it. He's got to tell people that we're scammers and we're doing this and we're stealing from people. Don't trust us. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And it, it, it goes a lot deeper than that. I can show you where we've had people come into other account, other our Facebook accounts, and his crow boys will come and start try to slander our product and call us scammers. We got all that. All that stuff has been recorded and forwarded. I got text messages from Crow telling me he's going to be determined to destroy and take down my company. Stuff like that. Uh, doing dirty stuff like I had a contract with a company. I told you over in Jersey, this fellow came out to the house. And they were looking at one of our inflatable screens. The paint we're making for inflatable screens. He came out, he saw his stuff, he liked it. So after that, uh, he left. And then uh, later on, I was over in Home Depot picking up a few things. And I got a call from him. And he was like, um, uh, we got an interesting email over here by a fellow by the name of Crow. So what Crow had did was I had basically showed off my contract. And he, I guess he froze that image, blew it up, took the picture, got the number of it. He contacted the person who I just was in the process of getting a contract with and told him not to do business with me, that I was a scammer. That I was a scammer and not to do business with him, but to do business with him only. And I thought, how low can you freaking go? So some more demonstrations of the slander and stuff. There you go. But we do any demonstration. If we want to bring them over here and do a fair demonstration how it's supposed to be done, then we are considered to be uh, harassing him. Then we are considered to be bullying him. That's what he wants people to believe. Now, uh, showing the picture of my house, that don't bother me. That don't shake me one bit. And a lot of people I, I know in my neighborhood, my old neighborhood, stomping grounds, know where I live at, where I lay my head. That don't bother me. It just, it, it, it basically... Mess, messes you up. It does. It damages you on a level you can't believe it damages on a level because now you got customers that are going to be looking at that and saying, well, gee whiz, if you're going to get mad at somebody and you're going to do that to them, who's to say that you're not going to get pissed off or, excuse me, or mad at me and do that to me? Because now you have my personal information. You have my address and credit card numbers and all that stuff on your account. Who's to say you won't do that to me? Who's to say that you might post my personal information like that? That's what you got to think about. You have to handle things in a business manner. You don't do things like that. So that's what he he damaged himself on that. Because now the next person places an order with him, and if you get into a dispute or an argue with him, with him or say maybe you don't like the product and you go file a PayPal complaint against him, who's to say that he's not going to take your personal information and post it?
Now, this is the video I'm going to show you he's mad about. You see this video right here? This is a video he pulled from his channel. He pulled his video from his channel because in the video, he shows you how to make a product, his product. He shows you how to make the Metallica mix right here. Now, I didn't go in the basement and make his product on my own. I went on the YouTube video, followed his tutorial, and made the product. So, Fernando's, or Gonzalez, you have taught me how to make this product. And what I did was, I went over to the personal mix, which I have, the only thing I have left, and I did a side-by-side -side demonstration. And it matched. And you're mad at me because of that? Okay. You feel that I'm bullying and tampering with your product when you're the one who had the video showing people how to make it? That's your table. That is your dining room. And that is you right there on camera. And I have one of them actually talking. I'm speaking, but I don't play that. I don't play his voice back. I don't do that. So all I did was follow your demonstration and make the product myself. Painted the screen right there. Went over here and shut, turned my projector on. And that is your personal mix. Put it in front. And it matched. Now that video had 27,000 hits on it. Which means out of that 27,000 hits, somebody somewhere along the line was going to figure it out. Somebody along the line was going to look at that and go, hmm, I just purchased this paint. I wonder how close this would come to looking like that one. Someone's going to find out. I just had to be the one to figure it out. I'm pretty sure a few other people figured it out too. I'm pretty sure they did. And I'm pretty sure they wanted to file a complaint through PayPal to try to get their money back. They couldn't get their money back. But that's what he got mad at me about. Because then that gets you thinking. You start thinking like, how many other things can match stuff in that he makes? So upstairs, messing around with the primer, doing my attic upstairs, working on that. I'm looking at this primer, like it looks a heck of a lot like a UV mix. And sure enough, it matched perfectly to a UV mix. Can't get mad over people or stuff like that. You left that video laying around. Common sense would have told you if you were in the process of selling your product, you should have removed the video. Or you should have basically upgraded your product so it had nothing to do with the video itself. And then we bought a fellow by the name of Pro Screens. We bought him in, and he beat Crow's Spring Paint. His paint was actually brighter, better, and more cheaper than affordable than Crow's Paint. Got mad over that. This guy could literally do a video right now. If he wanted to go against Crow, he could do a video. He could blow out everything he has over there. Literally could do it easily. Because however he made his product, there is no black paint in it whatsoever. There's none. I don't even know how he pulled it off. But there's, from my older days of basically developing light gray screen paints... I would have never been able to complete what he just did. I have to give him hats off on that one. Now, is this technology as good as what we have now? No, it's not. It's nowhere near it. But, like I said, if I had to go up against him at that particular time, I wouldn't have been a candle to this guy. He Somehow, he has figured out to be able to produce a, a white level, in contrast level, on a screen that's a very light, light gray. I would love to pick his brain and basically chill with him for a couple of days and share them. We can share some stuff back and forth. I can show him how to advance my stuff, and he can show me some stuff. But like I said, I was quite impressed by that. I was very impressed by it. He made this look dark, very dark. That's how good his white levels were. And I sat there and said, yeah, I'm impressed by that. I am pro screen. This guy was named Pro Screen HD. Did a good job. Very good job. Now, against our stuff, no. He wouldn't be able to hold a candle to it. But if he was in the field of doing light gray screen paints, he was extremely good. So that's why I said that. Yeah, he beat his paint. He beat his paint hands down with no problem. I think I'm going to find the video here. I'll show you the video. And I was just doing the side stuff. And no black painting. If he had black painting, I would have saw a trace of it. You would have saw it. You would have saw it. It was nothing in there. So I was quite impressed with that fellow. Yeah.
Mm. Long day. Still got more work to do. No, this stuff don't bother me. This ain't the first time somebody's done this to me. I lived in the other two houses. Somebody did this to me, too. It don't bother me, though. I want to watch it for them bear traps, though. <laughs> Let me see. So, I mean, we've done these demonstrations. We're talking against our technology and against white screens. We do these tests outside on white screens. Do these tests in the daytime hours versus white screens. If my technology was so dark, there was no way it was possible that I could go toe to toe with the screen outside and it's white. You see the color of my screen's pulling up? They, for some reason, I don't know whether or not both of them have some form of delusion where their brain just shuts off and they just forget great periods of lengths of time. But you didn't see that demonstration I just did with a white screen outside with our black technology pulling up an amazing color level? If you claim that our product was so dark, wouldn't you think the white screen would have did a lot better, especially when it comes to the color? Look at that. That's what I find interesting. That's why I say I think they really do forget stuff. Now, for a black screen to pull an image that high, it means the color of white level would have to be insanely good. White screen's not even there. So how are you doing a demonstration against a white sheet of paper in my screen saying it comes up so dark you can barely see it, but I'm outside with the white screen with my technology splattered across it. Any area right here, here, and here that's being splattered with our technology. But in all the videos I just showed you, and every last one of them, our product came up so dark that you couldn't see it, but yet we're laying against a white screen and we're pulling that image off outside. So like I said, at the end of the day, they're a bunch of liars. And all they do is take from people. They don't want to do for fair. They, want, they don't want to be honest. They don't want to be fair. No one can review their stuff. They can review everybody else's stuff. And if you try to review their stuff, they'll cancel your orders. And if you press on by trying to get those... Those, uh, those screen paints over here to do those demonstrations, then they're being harassed, then people are bothering them. Oh my goodness, I swear, if you look up Snowflake in the dictionary, his face will pop up. I think he forgets I do all these demonstrations. I literally do. Look at him, point it out right there. I think he forgets I literally do all these demonstrations that I have to do. There's your answer to my screen being so dark with a nature scene outside. And even while we're having this conversation, I have a screen standing behind me at 126 inches that's producing an ocean right behind me and a, and a, and a centered in windows and a ton of lights. And if I were you, Crow, or whatever you call your name, I would stop using the word Coco Bird because that's a racial slur. You do not want that kind of publicity coming to your front door. Trust me. You see me as a black man here working to basically build a company from the ground up and working hard, and you're making comments like that? I wouldn't do that if I were you. That video was shot live too, by the way. You do not want this to turn into a race thing. You don't. So stop it right from the door. There we are pulling a star field outside.
That was also a challenge too. Did you know that? That was a challenge we gave them. It was never met. As you went through his YouTube channel, you know, every challenge I've given to him has never been met. Not one of them. But well, you want to constantly call me a scammer. You want to constantly say that I'm stealing from people. You constantly want to say that my technology is not real. Does this to any other blah, blah, blah. This is what you want to say. You want to compare yourself to us. You want to say you're as good as my product. You can do the same thing we can do. We can save you hundreds. This is what you're saying. But you don't back any of it up. You complete none of our challenges. You do none of our demonstrations at all, period. I'm supposed to be the one. It's supposed to be the scammer. Yeah. There you go. Not only can I produce a contrast level, but I can also show you color. Outside. That's a good screen, too. I missed the spider screen. I got to do me another spider screen. Actually, that screen is upstairs in my bedroom on my wall. That's what that screen is. That was the spider screen. I recoded over that. With black technology and stuck up on the wall upstairs as the bed sheet screen. Oh, man, I did that demonstration. I painted that demonstration live. I remember that. I did that demonstration live. Thank you so much for, um, can't pronounce your name, but thank you so much for that comment. I really appreciate that. Got the neon lights. I forget how much neon light I literally have running through my house. It is so much neon light. I got a fear I might be destroying my retinas with that stuff. Look at this. Let's go to what I just previously did. Over here we did this one, right this one. This is the one I previously did. This is, I had a lot of fun painting this screen on the wall. I forgot how much fun it is. When you paint on a wall, it's, it's, I like painting on projection screens, don't get me wrong. But man, painting on a wall, knowing that you paint that screen on your wall, that's a screen on your wall. I, I love that, man. But I, over here, I can't do it because I don't have any walls that I can paint on because everything got a window next to it. But if I could, man, I would not, and you save so much money, because my screen over there cost me $512, $500 something, you know, $500 something dollars for that, uh, for that 235.1. I could have painted a bigger size. That's the one thing, beautiful thing about painting. When you paint, you could choose what size you want. It's not going to cost you any money. That's the beautiful thing about painting. I had to stick to a certain size, because that's all that would fit there, number one. Well, actually, I could have got a bigger size, but... I wasn't going to pay the money they wanted for the other screen. It was too much money. They wanted was $800 for the other side. I was like, no, I'll just go with this one. It's like five something. I'll pay for that. But I didn't want to pay for it. I wanted to paint on the wall. But it's so, when I was painting that screen in, oh, man. When I moved here, I was like, there is no freaking wall in this place to put a screen. And the only place I had, the only place I had was the dining room. This was the dining room in there. And I was like, well, I got to use this room right here. So I want to do. But yeah. The other house I was in, there was only enough room to put a 235.1 in there. That's about 158 inches. I painted that one right on the wall. All right, so we got a white wall here. We're going to paint this one in for you guys. Those of you who missed the paint on demonstration, this is what I did because um, him and Parte started some slander against my company. Again, both of them working together. And in the demonstration, he was supposed to make some free black paint. When I saw the demonstration, the image was so dirty on the paint. It was very, very dirty. And it showed that the white levels were just not pulling high enough. 
And then they were trying to say that. And then he got a hold of it. And he was trying to say, well, this is how all black paints react. I'm like, you can't say that. It's like me saying all cars react the same way. All food tastes the same. You can't say that. So that's when I came on here and did this demonstration right here. But I only I did that demonstration for that purpose is because a lot of people have been asking me about painting on the wall. And some people feel that you got to use a primer, this, that, and the other. It depends on, and if you're using stucco, I wouldn't, I wouldn't paint on a stucco wall. That's something I wouldn't do. And that's me just using what's on the roller right there. That's just me using whatever's on the roller. Here we go. Yeah, well he, now mind you, the minute I shot this video, that's when he did the video with my house. Mad, angry, got put on. He got put on blast every time he tries to basically tear down my company. I do demonstrations to back it up, and it makes him angry. But he didn't like that because I went on there and defended my company as I should have, and that made him mad. That made him angry, and then he went into the whole oh he's. He's messing with me. He's bothering me. I, I don't do anything to him at all. I miss. Yeah, no, you're not. No, you're not. Like I said, if you mind your own business, let us go over and work what we need to do. And that's what you need to do. Mind your own business. We can't do that. Because it bothers you. But our product is good. You notice how I'm painting that screen. I'm not exactly going up and down formation, am I? I'm all over the screen. That's usually how I paint a screen anyway. I just all over the screen. It don't make a difference. Let me see. I got like I missed a spot right there. Or did I? I'm not sure. That might be the screen drying. And then just to show the screen's drying time, we painted the screen again and dried it in front of the camera the second time. It's like a spot that I missed, doesn't it? But it's not. I think it's actually the screen is it's drying it. As they dry, they get brighter.
Now, how is that a screen? Now, what you just saw in the demonstrations that I just showed you that how he reviewed our product, how is it possible to paint that screen live? It looks like that. And meanwhile, I'm showing you a 135-inch screen in the next room. Same thing, same air screen paint, the same coating. It's on a bigger scale, that's all. And then I got a chance to calm down. Because I can't stand people to do stuff like that. I can't. I work hard every day. I get up early in the morning. I take care of my customers. I ship out all their orders. We even had a crow boy come in here and try to make a comment, try to make trouble by saying, oh, where's my order? Now, anybody who knows me on my channel knows that I always show my ship out dates. You watch me wrapping paint, wrapping the containers up, putting them up, talking to you guys and stuff like that. So I always show that. And that's because, so when we get people like that to come into our channel that carry on like that, trying to make it sound like we don't ship out our orders, my, my customers and people on here that, you know, watch my channel know that I ship my orders out to my customers. That I pay an extra hundred bucks every Friday for the driver to come down and pick up the packages to make sure your packages are taken care of. I even have a customer right now that somehow is when he got his projector, he has a 505 like I have upstairs. So his 505, when he was trying to get it to work on his screen, his screen's coming up, the vision was so blurry, and he said, I, I don't know what's wrong with the projector. So those projectors, you can take out the lens. He took the lens out of the projector, it's damaged in three places. So that's why the focus doesn't work on his, on his lens. I have an extra lens upstairs. So I said, okay, look, you can have that lens and I'll just send you the paint, you know, don't worry about it. Cause I wanna see him get his setup done. So I sent him down everything and somehow along the line with the Christmas, you know, everything coming back and forth, his, um, his item got lost. So, you know, I went on eBay, I found another lens, I paid for it, it cost me $32, it was a lot of money, it was good. I paid it $32 for a lens for him, I'm making a new screen paint, and I'm shipping it off to him again. That's how I treat my customers. I take care of my customers. I treat my customers like their family. Anybody who's ever had a conversation with me or talked to me on the phone, I talk to you like your family. We joke, we laugh. Some people, I, like I said, I got a lot of my customers on my Facebook page, my personal page. I know their family and stuff like that. We talk back and forth. So, you know, when people come in and do stuff like this to you, you know, it, it ticks you off. I'm trying to keep saying piss you off. It ticks you off because you work very hard at what you do. And they just have nothing better to do with their time than just do outright dumb stuff like this. Day after day after day, they do this dumb stuff. But I know in, the, in this field of business, this is what you got to deal with. You got to deal with the Crows, the Jamies, Fernandos, all them, the Gonzales. You got to deal with them. You know, but after a while you get tired of it and you get a lawyer involved and that's what I had to do. Because that last straw was him taking my product out to try to get it made. Shouldn't have did that. So I think he's terrified of that. And you should be terrified of that. You really should be. But doing this doesn't make it any better. Not only does it make it look worse for you, but now um, your customers, I don't know who what customer would trust them with their personal information. If he's doing stuff like that, it doesn't make you look good. At the end of the day, I lay my head down. Look, I know God protects me and keeps me safe, and he does. And on the other hand, I know how I'm trained. So I'm good, either way. But what he has to worry about, like, remember I, tell, I told you that story, that how I threatened that Christian to shoot that Christian in the face? When I was in my younger years, my thug years, I was doing dumb stuff in the street. And then God had changed my life around. But I'll tell you something, that the path I was traveling at, I had two choices. It was either the jail or, 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 or the grave. I was I was in a bad situation doing some real crazy stuff when I was young. But anyway, yeah, I threatened a Christian, made a big mistake, came back and hit me. I got threatened by a bunch of people wanting to kill me. 
at the end of the day. I had to go back and get that forgiveness so I can basically clear my plate so I don't have to worry about it no more. You go against a Christian, you go against God. So like I said, it doesn't make a difference. At the end of the day, I never met a man that could take on God. Never. When I'm 53, I lived in some of the worst, most psychotic neighborhoods you could think about in North Philadelphia, West, all the bad lands. I've been there already. I've seen all kinds of stuff, stuff that people shouldn't see every day. I've seen it. Survive it. The only thing that made things right in my life is when I gave myself, myself over to God. That's what made my life right. And I had to spend some time, too. Get some time. Life will change you. you. Got two choices. Make it better, or it'll kill you. And I chose to live, so I chose to do better with my life. And this is how I got got my life together and did a few things and went in restaurant school, got a better education, got into IT tech. Good God, I love IT tech. I love computers. The freaking migraines I used to get from staring at the screen. Oh my goodness, you guys have no idea. If you lived in that particular era where you had the flicker effect on the CRTs, that was a freaking migraine you wouldn't freaking believe. Oh, good gracious. The flicker effect. I forgot about those nightmare CRT monitors. <laughs> yeah, you had some migraines after that one. <laughs> oh, man. They had no yellow glasses and none of that stuff. You would just... And it's funny because, you know, you sit up on top of a monitor, you're expecting to sit back. But no one sits back on a monitor. Most people sit right up on top of the monitor. Everybody does that nonsense. Yeah. Oh, this is me painting my screen in. Right there. Showing the other one off. Well, unfortunate bad news. My uh, Dreamcast... And Power Stone is basically on delay. It was supposed to be here today, but my fountain did come last night, so I was able to set up my fountain in the um, in the Japanese tea room. So that came yesterday. The glow in the dark paint didn't go over so well. I needed a black light to run it, so I don't have any black lights here to do it. So I don't know. Since I don't need it, I'm not going to use it, and it's only used just a little bit of a teaspoon of it. I guess whoever makes an order can have it. I usually just give away free stuff from time to time because I'm not doing anything with it. Maybe you could do something with it. Maybe you can get some black lights and, you know, paint your screen or paint something in your environment, you know, give a nice little psychedelic look. I mean, it's up to you. But I can't do anything with it. So there you go. Let me show my settings. Now, my settings, I was at 10 right there on my projector. I'm gonna let that run. I'm gonna grab something to eat. Oh man, I'm tired. Get some jello. Jello. I'm about to say, where the freak is my desk at? I'm walking right in the next room. There you go. See? And that's supposed to be my screen paint, as I showed you, and all the demonstrations by Crow, that was supposed to be so dark that you couldn't see the image. And you're watching it right there. Painted that in yesterday. That's why the screen was still wet. Then I went back in. Paint it over again, dried it again. Just to show my customers how fast the screen dries. So I get a lot of questions from customers about they're going to paint this on their wall and they want to know exactly how it's going to react. I mean, do they have to sand the wall? Or do they have to prime the wall? You know, if you got a wall, you just drywall. You can just paint right over top of it. As long as you just got, you don't have any grooves in it. Like if you have any grooves in it, if you haven't used any compound putty or anything to go in between the grooves and sand it down, I would do that definitely. Um, but other than that, you could just roll right over top of it. If you have one up there and you're done. You don't even have to prime it. Just roll over and just be done with it, you know. And the best way to do that, I'm telling you, if you're painting on your wall, turn your projector on. And then what you do is take some frog tape. And you want to paint about maybe that far away from the actual screen. Put the tape because you want a little bit of forgiveness room. 
unless you got lens shift, lens near the edge, and you're going to have to adjust it back and forth just to fit in that spot. And that could be a bit of a headache. So you want to make sure that you, when you paint it, you want to paint it about one inch from the actual screen. So you have a little bit of forgiveness room in there just in case if somebody bumps the projector or you move it, you move it and take it down, or, you know, with cables and stuff, you just put it up there because you got enough room to move around. You don't want to make it right to the very edge. So, you know, there's a cool tricks that you can use to basically um, to uh, paint your screen in. Now, if you're going to build your screen and it's an odd, strange shape, like, okay, like some people don't have the traditional rooms to put in 120 inch or maybe 150 inch. What you need to do is go to ABS, no, no, go to projectorcentral.com, um, click on that, and then at the top, you'll see a search bar. And at the search bar, you just copy and paste your projector's modern, um, I'm sorry, model number. Once the model number goes up, you hit that, and then you'll be sent to a page with a bunch of links. Just hit the first or the second, it should be one or the other, and that will bring you to a distance calculator. That's where you want to be at, specification sheet, pretty much that's what it is. Go in there and just check out your specifications, roll down to the very bottom, and you will see something that says distant calculator. And then there, you can take your projector, and you can basically move it back and forth. And as you move it back and forth, it will give you the height and the length of the screen. You can also go in and change your ratio sizes to like uh, 239.1, 235.1, 16.9, 16.10. You know, some of these projectors have a 15.9. You ever seen a 15.9 in setting? It's kind of weird looking. The NECs usually have them. So, let's go back in. We're on the black and white demonstration. Here we go. There's the black and white demonstration. And that stream came up pretty good upstairs. I mean, really good. I mean, usually when I do streams, it's like, all grindy and gritty and everything. I sound like a transformer in the background. But upstairs, that came out really, really good. I have a hard time getting the PS4 to run up there. It was like my shirt, don't it? I caught that myself a couple of times, but it can't, my shirt can't pull a white level. I'll take my shirt off and I'll put it against the screen to demonstrate stuff my shirt. But wait a minute. Your shirt looks the same way as the screen. No, I don't. Trust me. I did it already. I'll, I'll shoot the video. Yeah. This is why I repainted the screen. When you paint the screens, they're dark, and then they actually have to dry to get brighter. When you hear something interesting, I don't watch my demonstrations after I get done doing them. And the reason why is because I talk too much. <laughs> it's true, a lot of you not. I talk too freaking much. I know I talk too much. There's just so much stuff I want to explain and talk to people about, but I don't raise from the door. I'm fast forward and they're like, what the freak? And I'm like, really? Hey, you could have wrote a book on that one. So that's me rolling over the screen again. Shoot, I got a friend of mine who's in nuclear physics. Think about that one. Have a conversation with him one day. Oh my God. Man. I didn't catch on to any of that stuff. And he was like, so what did you do at work today? And then after that, he's just speaking a whole nother language. I'm just not even there anymore. I'm just nodding my head going, mm-hmm. Yep. Now, I understand. I feel you. I'm like, I understand a word he just said. <laughs> but interesting dude. He's in the Navy. Spent some time on a nuclear sub. That's got to be interesting. I couldn't do that. It's way too deep. Yeah, and I'll do a demonstration off my shirt. Hmm. Yeah, I miss painting the screen on the wall. So there's the screen drying now. 
It's always dark. I'm sure I should dry. It gets brighter and brighter. So let me see if we can find me a spot where it's nice and dry. Oh, here we go. Yep. So imagine if you will, and you get up every day, you work hard at something. Every day, you get work hard, and you got an individual that's constantly, constantly tampering with your stuff. Constantly. And then when you finally get tired of it, start putting the shoe on the other foot for him he goes into a whole thing like he's being attacked and he's being violated and he's being bullied and goes through all these crazy tactics and that my friend in 2020 is the correct term for a snowflake because if you can do reviews against our product and really an unfair reviews against our product then why can't we do reviews against yours which are going to be fair what are you afraid of where do you get the high i bet you 100 bucks if i get my phone upstairs that was him calling me i don't know if y'all remember that there was a video that he must have called my phone at least 30 times Man, that's jacked up, man. I was gonna play some Power Stone today on the big screen. No Power Stone on the big screen today, man. I was gonna have my Dreamcast today. It was supposed to be here, but it's delayed. Everything's delayed now because of the Christmas postal packages and everything. It's delayed. I was gonna do my Dreamcast today, some Power Stone. Yep, there you go. Look at the screen. That was painted on yesterday.
I let you judge for yourself. That's why I let you watch this demonstration on his channel of him constantly taking black paint and whatever chemicals he's mixing in with our stuff to make our product look dirty. Where he's calling us scammers. He's just doing all kinds of dirty stuff against us because he just basically is just jealous and upset because our product at works. He can't stand it. And you just watch me do a paint on demonstration. And there's my screen right there. A screen that's supposed to come up dark. I'm pretty sure it comes up extremely well. This is on my 720p projector right there. Yeah. That's my kitchen screen right there. Right next to my window. And this is my screen right on the table. This is my table projector, which This is what he doesn't like. This is what burns him up. Burns him up. That we can display technology like this. It burns him up. It's a demonstration that he did about how the screen was supposed to come up so dark on the kitchen demonstration right here. Okay, well, on that note, I thank you all for taking the time to come in and watch these demonstrations and to see exactly what we've been going through with this particular individual and how he's been carrying on and acting up. And this is the reason why we have a lawsuit. This is why. Because the way he's been carrying himself. And by the way, he's basically, whatever he just did a few minutes ago, it just shows you that, um, like I said, at the end of the day, I wouldn't do business with somebody like that. You know what I mean? You understand you're going to have conflicts with companies and things. People are going to do that. When you start doing stuff on that level, then that's a, that's a person who has some serious issues. Like I said, I got his information. I know where he lives at. I could easily post it with no problem. But I don't do stuff like that. You don't do things like that. There's a, there's a way to carry yourself in business, and that's not the way to do it. But like I said, I come in here and I back up my work. I work hard at what I do. And if there are people that are bothered by that, then tough cookies. They're going to have to deal with it. But until then, as in um, Fernando Gonzalez... This is going to be taken care of in court. All right? Just to let you know. It's still going to go through no matter what. All right.